Can you please tell us a little bit more about where you come from and maybe also a little bit about this uh, movement for democratic change here in Zimbabwe? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here. Uh, my name is Douglas Monzora. I am the Secretary General of the Movement for Democratic Change, which is uh, the main opposition party in Zimbabwe. We are hoping to form the next government. I am a lawyer by profession. Um, I, uh, I studied law at the University of Zimbabwe. Um, I joined uh, the politics in 1988, fighting against the one-party state in Zimbabwe. Um, joined quite a number of political parties for purposes as a young person to fight against the one-party state dictatorship. Um, as a result of my fight uh, for, against the one-party state, I have been arrested and detained by the authorities a record 34 times. Uh, thank God I'm alive and uh, uh, I am here to tell the story. Um, I was lucky enough to be appointed the co-chairperson of the constitution making by the Prime Minister then, uh, Mr. Morgan Changrai, who is the president of my party. Um, to, uh, it, it was an honor to be asked to write a constitution for your country. Um, and uh, when we were doing that project, uh, I, my eyes were opened uh, to the fact that it is not what I want that matters to everyone. And that as, as human beings, we must be very, we must be able to accommodate others. There are other interest groups there. And when you are doing a constitution, it's a basically a concordance of discordant forces within society. And that, the first important thing as a constitution maker is to put yourself out of the equation and look at society, a, a, a best view of society and the in various interest groups that are there, knowing that each interest is as important to the person who holds it um, as your interest in something else. Um, unfortunately, after the, uh, the crafting of the new constitution, which was successful, um, well, before the crafting of the new constitution, uh, the finishing of the new constitution, the, 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 the promulgation of the new constitution, um, it was taken to referendum, uh, which was a yes or no vote, whether the people of Zimbabwe were going to say yes to the constitution. Historically, Zimbabwe has always voted no in a referendum, and everybody thought it would be a question of deja vu. Um, and if the Zimbabweans were going to vote yes, we were going to make history. Um, and counted down to the referendum, my colleagues and I were afraid that history will, will repeat itself. Fortunately for us, Zimbabwe voted 95% for the constitution and we became the first group of people to do something which went to a referendum of which the result was positive. It was a very humbling experience indeed. Regrettably, uh, I lost my, 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 my seat in the ensuing election in 2013 uh, and ever since I have, I, I'm in, in, in opposition. Um, I rose from uh, being an ordinary uh, card carrying member of the, of the party um, to being the spokesperson of the party in 2011. Three years later, I was elected the Secretary General uh, of the movement. And, uh, Right now, I have not gone back to teaching. I am running a small private practice called Monzoranda Associates where I have got five partners in the law firm.